Hi guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to review my uh, vintage uh, Tag Heuer 1000. And um, if you haven't seen the uh, the video where I did the first impressions when I uh, got this watch, well, uh, you can go back and see it. I will leave a link down below in the, the description for this video. Um, in, in that video, uh, I promised to just briefly tell you a little about the story of why actually the, the Tag Heuer 1000 dive watch is an extremely important part of uh, Tag Heuer's history. Uh, and this I'm going to uh, get into in this video as well as I'm going to review this watch. Um, let's uh, roll the intro and then I will be right back with the review and the story of Tag Heuer 1000. As I said, this is, is a review as well as a little story about the Tag Heuer 1000. And this uh, particular model is um, somewhere between, between 25 and 30 years old. Uh, they produced this uh, model between 1986 and 1992. And then they, in 1992 they stopped producing this model and went on to other models. And you can find a variety of different Tag Heuer 1000 models. This particular uh, model is a PVD, as you see the black PVD, and then it's gold plated in uh, I think it's 14 or 18 karat gold. They gold plated the different parts of the watch. The particular model number is uh, a 980029N uh, model. But just before we get into this, model uh, a quick uh, wristwatch check and uh, I'm wearing a, a, a newer Tag Heuer. This is the Tag Heuer Aqua Racer, a new model. So let's get into the story of the Tag Heuer 1000 model. Actually uh, this model uh, was uh, invented uh, back in the late 70s, early 80s because of the quartz crisis. The quartz cr crisis was when uh, back when the Japanese watch brands uh, invented the quartz watch, so you could make uh, really cheap, very accurate watches uh, running on batteries. So, um, uh, and back then the Swiss watch industry were, was was only uh, about automatic watches. So the quartz uh, watches just came rolling in uh, on the watch uh, in in the watch uh, community, and everybody were, were buying uh, uh, quartz watches and neglecting the old uh, and more expensive and harder to produce automatic watches. But back then, uh, the famous Heuer brand, before they came, became Tag Heuer, the famous uh, Heuer brand uh, was suffering uh, very, very badly. They actually um, uh, almost uh, went bankrupt, but um, they, they could keep uh, afloat because they still produce very, very accurate stopwatches for uh, for especially for the racing uh, industry and the sports uh, timing industry. So that was actually what kept uh, the Heuer brand alive. Later on, uh, Heuer uh, became uh, Tag Heuer. And uh, the famous Jack Heuer, uh, the descendant from uh, the ones who built uh, the Heuer company, he actually uh, went to a lot of uh, different um, uh, conventions uh, with uh, different kind of technology. And he actually, um, from one of, one of these uh, conventions, actually got the idea of starting to produce a nice quartz diving watch. Uh, and this actually later on became uh, uh, a very important part of the, the Heuer, the Tag Heuer history. 
Uh, the first model was the 844, later came the 1000 series, which, which uh, this is one of the 1000 series. And they uh, later on expanded with the 1500, the 2000, the 3000, the 4000 and the 6000 series. So uh, Tag Heuer really built uh, upon especially the, the 1000, the, the, the one Tag Heuer 1000 series to build a lot of new watches and some of them are really really ugly you can see that in the video in my video uh, five things i really hate about tag heuer and that's some of the 19s early early 2000 watches they produce just they're so ugly and so cheap and well just have a look at that video i will leave a, a link down below in the description but this watch, this uh, watch line the, the tag heuer 1000 really uh, started a new era for for the Tag Heuer watch company. Uh, later Jack Heuer explained that he got the idea for this watch because he often uh, got the Heuer stand placed besides uh, diving uh, wear companies and at sports fairs. Because Tag Heuer was really still famous for doing the sports watches, uh, they often attended different sports conventions and sports fairs and often they got their, their uh, stand placed uh, as a neighbor to a diving watch, uh, uh, diving, uh, no, not diving watch, diving, uh, you know, ut utilities and diving wear companies. And he got the idea for this watch. So the idea was to uh, design a, a quartz diving watch, which was, as you can of course see, if I get a little closer, was inspired by the very famous Rolex Submariner line. So this is not a, a, a homage watch, but this is uh, definitely a, a watch that is very, very much inspired by the Rolex Submariner. Well, history tells us that uh, Jack, uh, the Jack Heuer, uh, the famous Jack Heuer, he actually uh, really hit the nail with the, the Tag Heuer 1000 line. Because they were able to produce really cheap, or not cheap, but affordable quartz diving watches for the watch uh, un enthusiasts who really couldn't maybe afford uh, or would or wanted a, a, a Rolex Submariner. So this actually just exploded at some point for Tag Heuer in the 80s and the 90s. So um, they became a very uh, st strong watch company once again because they sold a hell of a lot of these watches. And that's actually also why you're able to still find these 30 year old watches uh, on eBay and other places. Uh, this uh, watch I bought on eBay uh, for around $350, I think. So you get a really, really nice historical, um, super, super nice vintage watch um, for not a, a lot of money. And later on, I was actually just a week after I, I, I bought this, uh, a guy put up the original bracelet for this model. And um, this, uh, my watch didn't come with the bracelet, it came with a, 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 a NATO strap that didn't really fit at the watch at all, but I just wanted the watch, so I actually uh, bought a really nice uh, black, high quality leather strap, and I think that would that really works out. So whatever I want to wear, I can just change it to this leather strap, and then it still look really, really great. It almost becomes a dress watch when I put on the leather strap. But I really wanted the original bracelet, uh, Jubilee bracelet, as and actually, if you consider this uh, bracelet, it could be up to 30 years old. I think uh, it's pretty well kept. Uh, it's of course a big bit flingy. It's, but still, this is uh, 30 years down the road uh, uh, of a lot of higher quality than what you will get with a Seiko SKX uh, Jubilee bracelet. And of course, it's been it's been used, so it's pretty worn out. Out, but I really actually like that you can see this watch is not a brand new shiny watch. Somebody owned this watch for up to thirty years, and it of course it has some wear and tear. But still, if you look at the bezel and you look at the dial, it's an extremely, and you look at the crown, extremely well kept, in really nice quality. So I actually think. Of course, I bought this watch because I really like it. I like the Tag Heuer diving watches. Uh, I got the accurate. This is my third, actually my third uh, Tag Heuer uh, diving watch. But I also bought the watch because it's a watch that has a really unique look, I think. The PVD coating and the, the gold plating is really beautiful. And 
Well, let me just try on the watch because what was my biggest worry when I bought this uh, watch was actually the size. This is only about 38 millimeters in diameter. Okay, this is how it, it looks on my wrist. I got around a, a wrist of a about 18 centimeters it's around about 7.1 inches but i think it looks cool it looks great it ha I, i'm actually a bit surprised but i don't at all think this watch looks too small and it's because of the pvd and the gold plating it's a it's a really a watch you really notice it's a really striking watch uh, because it's black and gold so it actually looks bigger than it it, it than it is. So, well, let's uh, do some dimensions with this watch. And I got this little measuring thingy. Get just around 38. Lock width is 18 centimeters. And a really nice thing about this watch is uh, the thickness. It's only 14 millimeters thick. So that's a, a really nice uh, thing about this watch. It's because it's so thin, it's not that thick, it almost becomes like a kind of a dress watch. And if you can just imagine, like I showed you before, if I put it on the, this really nice black leather strap, it almost became, becomes some kind of, 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 of dress watch. So you can get this Takoya watch in different uh, looks and colors. I really went for the gold and I see these watches coming up on uh, on eBay often, so you uh, you should be able to to find it. What is really nice about this watch after 25 to 30 years is the bezel action. So smooth, but still, it it's it's it just quality it uses quality. The date is, uh, the crown is ex extremely easy to uh, to handle. Just screw it out like you're used to with the other watches and then you can pull it to first, the first position, the second position you, uh, you can change the date and it's a quick set date. It just, it feels a bit flimsy compared to the newer model. With the newer model it's more like click 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 when you change the date but this one it's more like uh, gliding so it, you don't really feel the click but uh, still uh, really nice with a quick set uh, date for this watch it really makes it a lot easier to set the date and then you put it out all the way out and when you're uh, all the way out you can you can just set the time and it's just well as easy as it gets and then just get it in and with this watch as you can see, very, very easy to handle. You get 200 meters of water resistant, resistance. I would never take this watch diving. Uh, well, it's gold, it's PVD, and it's really old. So I haven't had it tested, but I think, uh, of course, it wouldn't be any problem if I, had, I was wearing this watch and it started to rain, but I would never, ever take it diving. This is a very old vintage piece and uh, I just enjoy it. It has a nice weight to it as well. So if you're into it, looking for this watch, just um, have a look, uh, especially on eBay and uh, happy hunting. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, please remember to, uh, to subscribe and hit the like button and please comment and email me and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and whatever you find all the links down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back soon with more video uh, watch content here on my channel. Thank you.